Welcome to The Daily Dish, I'm Shay Pasa. Today in She Knows Parenting, total mom Hannah Keeley is gonna share with us tips on surviving grocery store meltdowns and dinnertime chaos. Hi Hannah, how are you? Hi Shay, I'm doing great, how are you? I'm great, so happy to have you on The Daily Dish. Thank you. Okay, Hannah, you have seven kids. I do. I can barely take my two kids grocery shopping. How do you do it without the kids totally melting down? Oh, you know what? I mean, every mom's going to have those meltdowns, but I have learned after seven kids, they're usually mirroring whatever's going on with mom. So if mom's cranky, the kids are going to be cranky. So you really have to watch that attitude and make sure you have a smile on your face, even if you don't feel like it, and, and that you're talking in soft, even tones, even if you want to scream. So you really have to mirror that positive attitude and maintain a conversation with your kids. You know, the grocery store is full of, of different sights and sounds. See if they can recognize foods on the labels or find new interesting things in the produce department. And it always helps to keep little toys or snacks with you so, so that the younger ones have something to do. Now, one of the things I'm struggling with now is that as my kids get older, there is the constant, mommy, can I have this? Now, I want to answer in those nice, soft tones, but after the 20th time, it's hard. How do you continue to say no and stay so calm? Well, here's the deal. Make sure before you go into the store that you tell them what you're there for and what you're going to have when you get back. And it could be a little treat or something like that that you're going to get and you'll enjoy at home. And if everyone behaves themselves, then you'll enjoy it. But, you know, again, it's part of the whole attitude thing. Yeah, it really is. Now, there was a recent survey that found that 60% of moms said that dinner time is the most hectic part of the day. With seven kids, how do you make dinner manageable as well as affordable? I can't imagine cooking for nine. You know, it's true. It's, it's only going to be stressful and hectic if you make it that way. I mean, we kind of go into the end of the day expecting it to be kind of crazy. So change your expectations around. Instead of saying, you know, kids, get out of the kitchen. I'll call you when dinner's ready. Get them in the kitchen. I mean, there's so many things to do. Just turn dinner time into a whole family experience. You can have a picnic once a week. This is the perfect season to do that. I also keep my pantry stocked full of canned vegetables like Libby's beans and corn because they are super affordable. And also, they're so convenient. Just, you know, keep your pantry stocked and you can throw, get, throw together a meal in just minutes. And also, if you go to getbacktothetable.com, it is full of really easy recipes. And some of those are like 10 bucks and under. Actually, I think all of them are like 10 bucks and under. So get the kids into the kitchen and let them help you make some of those meals. And maybe, you know, they're so easy that the kids can probably do most of the work, ease up the workload for mom. But again, turn it into a family experience. Now, you have a television show, a reality show, where you are helping moms. Yes, I do. Now, in Hannah Help Me, what do you see the most common mistake that moms make that you help them with? You know what? Hands down, every time that I go into a mom's life that, where she's overwhelmed, I get to spend two days with them. Hands down, the number one reason why they're having such a hard time is they're not viewing their job as a mom as a profession and you really have to approach it that way it's a career choice and so you have to approach it with that same professionalism you have to prepare for it you have to get up early you have to get ready you have to plan ahead and you know you will reap the benefits of it if you just go into it with the right attitude oh you're so right it's amazing how our attitudes change everything and really our kids approach to life it does that's right when mom's happy when mom's happy everybody's happy and when mom ain't happy you know what <laughs> You know what follows suit. Isn't that the truth? So where can moms go to get more information? Well, you can go to getbacktothetable.com. It's full of awesome recipes that you really should try out. Also, it's got some great ideas on what you and your family can do this summer. Great. And where can we see you on Hannah Help Me? Well, call up your public television station and see if they're going to be airing it. should be airing it any time now. Perfect. I can't wait to watch. Thanks for being with us, Hannah. I hope you'll visit us again. Thank you so much. Now, another way to keep mom happy is to keep her looking good. And one way to do that is a new outfit and earrings from JCPenney, like the ones I'm wearing today. This cute look can be found at JCPenney or JCP.com. It's perfect for a day with the kids or a weekend movie with your honey. Thanks to JCPenney for keeping me happy today. My kids thank you as well. And I want to thank you for making She Knows part of your busy day. All of us appreciate it. I'm Shay Pasta. Please join me again tomorrow. I'll see you then. Today's Daily Dish was sponsored by JCPenney. For your lifestyle at JCPenney, every day matters. Thanks for watching She Knows TV. Look for more of the Daily Dish at SheKnows.com.